50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. On April 26, 1986, the most serious accident in the history of the nuclear industry occurred at Unit 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The explosions that erupted from the Chernobyl reactor vessel and the constant fire that continued for 10 days or so resulted in large amounts of radioactive materials being released into the environment. Evacuation of Pripyat took place the day after. On the afternoon of April 27, 1986, the people were allowed to take only necessary items as they were supposed to return in three days. This information was released to avoid panic and to stop people from taking too much luggage with them. Later, the authorities decided to close the city for good. Thousands of people have been affected from radiation exposure, from mutation in children to cancer. As of now, we are able to walk the city of Pripyat safely, but there is still dangerous areas with high levels of radiation. So in Chernobyl and Pripyat, there's checkpoints, and we're not allowed to film them, but I'll show you a glimpse when we get to them. There's Misha, he's gonna get the paperwork signed, and then the cop's gonna come here and ask for my passport. This is all uh, run by the government here, so we can't film. Um, everything in Chernobyl and Pripyat is all run by the government now because of the radiation. It's in everything, so everything's strict here. You need passports to, for every checkpoint. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is where it all starts. We're starting here in the village, and we're gonna work our way more into this place we're in right now. Everybody had to exactly leave it. I mean, that they have families, children. Just, just imagine that in your head that you're in your house, you're having fun, you're living your daily life, your family, your children, your girlfriend, your you know everything, and you were just forced to just take your special belongings, anything you got, and just leave and never come back, because that's exactly what happened. They were given two hours. They were given a radio statement, a big broadcast that they were given two hours to leave. But they also were told by pre-precautions that they were allowed to come back in three days. But that was just a lie to keep everything safe and calm. Just to, just to get everyone out without riots or pretty much avoid any panic. And that's pretty much the basic history. But as we go along today, we're going to tell you more information about buildings and everything that happened. This is very... I'm trying to make this as informative as I possibly can, especially with... Misha, who's holding my camera as we speak, he's the gangsta guy here, he's the coolest guy. Blue East travel tour Kiev. They are the first um, people to ever tour Chernobyl. The original people to ever take tourists um, to here to explore. If it wasn't for Solo East travel, this video would never happen. They're, they sponsored me to come here to explore this and, and check it out for YouTube. So if, you, so if you like what you see, you like my experience here, any of you around the world, just contact them. The link in the description below. They're gonna, I'll give you every information you can. They're very nice people. They will take you here and explore this whole place and you will be safe. They'll keep you safe. So if anyone around the world who likes this place and wants to come here and likes my experience, check out Solo East Travel and then, yeah, you're here. So let's do this together. It's Alisa village. It was one of the most populated and one of the biggest villages which existed on the territory of the former Chernobyl district. Almost 3,000 people inhabited here. Oh, wow, okay. All these trees, they grew after the Chernobyl accident. They didn't exist here 30 years ago. Oh, so 30 years ago, these trees yeah, weren't here and... Trees, all these trees, yeah. They were not here. Okay, so now they grew over time after the accident. And so all these people were living here before they were forced to be evacuated as well, right? Yeah, nature just... Took nature took it over, yeah. yeah. I say that a lot in my videos. Nature takes over. <laughs> so we're going to walk inside one of these buildings. Maybe a few. Look at all the um, old, uh, oh dude, what? Their kid stuffed animals are here still? And their family's boots and everything. Dude, so this so we're in a family's house then, pretty much, exactly. Yes. We're in a regular family's house that had kids. And they had, they had to leave everything they, they had behind. Even their clothes are here. Dude, I am freaking out. I am freaking out right now. Some of the old newspapers? Newspapers, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now our tour guide Misha, he's used to this stuff. You know, he sees yeah, this I every day. This. Yeah, he sees all I've this been stuff. Doing this for five years, he, so. Yeah, he's in, he's a five year veteran here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This was the, oh, I'm assuming yeah, this was their yeah, their wallpaper, the wallpaper, the wallpaper of the building. Yeah. Oh, their um, what do they call their kitchen, yeah, where they cook all their food. Yeah. Man, what really freaks me out is that, that stuffed animal we just seen. Yeah, like a market. Here was a market right here. We got three buildings right here. What is this, a farm? Here was a barn. Here oh. was a garage for a car. Here was a barn where people used to keep uh, animals. 
Oh, so all, all the barn. Yeah, like pigs yeah, yeah. and chickens. Yeah, the, the pigs and chickens were in here? Yeah, were in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, the barn, I was right. Yeah. Either left here by those people who were involved during the contamination and cleaning of the area, or it was just left here by... Anyone. Anyone. So, yeah, exactly. Look at this. This is a Chernobyl's gas mask right here. <laughs> Wow. One of thousands. Yeah, one of the thousands of gas masks just laying on the floor here. So another another house. It's good though, you get to see like what, what other families have left here. You know what, what other stuff is still belonged here. Lots of pots and pans. Oh yeah. Yeah, their bathroom, all right. Living room. Damn. Yeah. And bedrooms. <gasps> Look at that, their bedroom. Yeah, all, all their clothes, some of their clothes are still here too. Yeah. That's what makes me amazed. That's what makes um, Chernobyl... I think besides the history of Chernobyl, it's the stuff that's still left here that makes it more popular as well. Like, impressive. yeah, more impressive is the stuff. When I go to abandoned places, I'm looking for what's left there in documents. Like the history is great, but if I if I see empty rooms and stuff, I'm not gonna spend my time going to the abandoned place unless the history was great. Like when I went to the original where Silent Hill took place in Pennsylvania, it was just land, but the history was so good, it was so worth it that I went there anyway. I never seen this before everyone. We're seeing sunken ships and because it's all ice, um, they, they look even cooler. It's, I can't really go all the way over there, I can't zoom in, but if you can tell, these boats are just left here and because of the reason why they're here is because they're so contaminated and it costs so much money to clean them up, they just, they just left the boats here in the harbor. Those boats now, the boats uh, were used to take construction material to the nuclear power plant. But you know, after going back and forth, and dealing with contamination so many times that they were they were so contaminated they couldn't pay the money to fix it they just left them here and now they're just sunken ships in the harbor so all the vehicles um, used during that harsh time were sent here it's like a graveyard I mean there's even helicopters here and everything and they're all contaminated so they left them there but now he says where are they now uh, so these graveyards, they don't exist anymore. Authorities made a decision to cut them piece by piece and to bury at special burial grounds, which were created in the wow. zone, close so, to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. So, yeah. th so they were buried. So all those were exactly cut, smashed into little pieces and just buried. Yeah, like That's this. a lot. Like this. Oh, exactly like that. Almost like a dumpster, like a graveyard. Yeah. That. This is the World War II second monument? Yeah. And not only that, but in there is a kindergarten school. We gonna go in? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go in. Three, and the soil is much more higher. So now we're at, we're getting a point twenty-three, twenty-four. The reader's getting higher. Oh. To the soil. To the soil. To the soil. Oh shit, man. Oh. Oh, dude, that's bad. That's 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 as big as the, the X-ray. <laughs> that's as big as the the, the chest X-ray. Damn. It's even going higher, sometimes six now. And it's even beeping. Yeah, he's beeping. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I'm mind blown by that. That's crazy. <laughs> it's going off on me. But yo, we're entering the school right now. I can't believe the dolls and stuff, man. Look at this. Oh, steps, yeah. Can you believe that? The dolls from the children and stuff is right here. Look at all the, the debris from it too, from just naturally decaying. The stuff will fall down from the ceilings. Oh man. 
This is unbelievable. What do you think that is? It's like medicine, huh? Yeah, it looks like medicine. Yeah. But somebody brought it here. Yeah, somebody yeah, brought it here. Yeah. Let me show you one here. Well, that's their um, that's the information board. What does that say? What's those words say? Which one? Uh, the bolt, the redwoods. That one? Yeah. Oh, look. Yep. Means corner. Corner? Yeah, Rodzijewski means parents, and Uholok means corner. So, so means parents just, corner. The... Damn, another doll though. Oh yeah. man, I never that that is some. I've seen a couple dolls before in some videos, but man, that's more serious dolls. So here with the study room. Do no. F okay. That's insane. Look at all the their their books, man. Yeah. All left here. It's like a lion, stuffed animal lion. Damn. You can't get any more legit than this. <laughs> what is this? Children were taught to read. Oh, children were taught to read? Yeah, taught in from oh, okay. words after the sentences and passages. Passages. And they even got music notes. Yeah, music notes. Yeah. Alright, look at this. Now, I think this is the coolest room, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. This, this is, dude, so they lived here in the kindergarten, or this is like nap time. Uh, yeah, this is just a nap time room. They this would just the nap in here. Room. The daycare, kin yeah. oh, kindergarten daycare. Parents used to bring their children to the daycare building while they were working. So yep. The rest is staying here. With oh, okay. Teachers, they were sleeping. Yep. In the daytime and in the evening after their parents were done with their work, they used to come here and pick them up. So they pick them up? Oh, okay, yes. Yes, yeah, de definitely just a daycare. Yeah, this is a daycare building. Yeah, daycare, kindergarten. kindergarten. Yeah, both, both. Both, yeah. Damn! <laughs> Look at the freaking pillow sheets and beds. There's a doll on that one. So, yeah, with a burnt face. Yeah, this face is pretty burnt. Or the girl's face is pretty burnt. Man. I've been inside a lot of abandoned buildings, but I love how these look. Oh, wow, look at these bedrooms. Yeah, it's not a double. Oh, man. Whoa, more, um, looks like medicines and stuff. Oh, dude, what? We got, they're old pills. Actual medicine, no, their pills are here. Maybe these are iodine pills. Is it iodine pills? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Could say on there, I don't know. I can't read that. Oh, it's written in uh, Latin. Latin, yeah, we don't know. But yeah, it could be iodine pills. I don't see why not. So right here we're in the heart of the whole accident. That's nuclear reactor four, and that's exactly what blew. That made everyone in this whole entire city had to evacuate and made all the damages happen because of that right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to it Let after. Let me show you one trick. So usually when we hold the diving launcher like this, yep. When we are hold, sarcophagus, the radiance are going up. 3.5, yeah, yep. the average radiation in the ground here, but 3.6, but when we put this Geiger counter, Geiger detector behind this monument or behind this rock, the radiance are going down. Oh yeah, it is, it's going because down. this fake rock, this fake monument, it blocks the rays, gamma rays, that are getting out from that destroyed reactor number four. That is hidden behind that so e So even right now, that reactor, is still leaking it out right now. Yeah, just those gamma rays. They yeah, are the gamma. They're powerful. Yeah, they pass through they're rays. the two or three uh, mm, meters thick wall. Yep. And they are just coming out. Passing through us. Right now, as right we speak. Now. Yeah, as we speak. <laughs> as we stand here. You hear that? Right now, we are getting hit with radiation, but it's such a low dose. Yeah. But it's coming out of there right now, hitting us. And this, and this can even prove to you right here that it is coming out. But it's, see how low? Oh, see how low it drops? When you put it behind the wall? Yeah. And, and look at this. Like this. It's going to go back up. 
to try to finally stop this from leaking out, the nuclear reactor, by building this dome. We're going to call it a dome. And it's actually somewhat on wheels on the bottom. And they're going to push it with remote control cranes and everything. And they're going to slide it right into that reactor. And then it's going to be completely aired shut and shielded and no more will ever be spitting out. So pretty much this meter that you see now, it's not going to rise up when we put it over here anymore. This is going to be finally finished and put over that reactor at the end of 2017. 17, yeah, the end of November. The end of November. And it, talks, it costed 28 countries $2 billion to make this. But we have to make this because we all live in this world and we have to think of a plan to stop natural disasters and man-made disasters. So that's what they did. All right, look at this. It's pre Priet. This is the sign, the welcoming sign. Not only that, but even has the date when this town was built. So that's, cr that's really great to see. I'm right in front of this place too. But over here, look, the radioactive uh, sign. You, I, no one's got selfies of this. Not even me. This is the only selfie I took since I had my GoPro. But I think it's a good sign. You already know we passed the pre pre welcome signs. Yeah. So you already know where we're going now. We're approaching, right now we're approaching the last checkpoint which is perfectly fine. It's understandable because we're about to be into the city right now. Part two is going to show everything and how mind-blowing Pripyat is. I felt it was important to document everything I could because this will be the most up-to-date footage the world will see.